In this video we're going to talk about making games in stencil. Now, this is going to be the first of quite a few videos. And we're going to go through building a very simple platform game. Now before we start, you can see that I've kind of already made a beginning on my game. It's working okay. I think I should say that to make a game in anything, whether you're using stencil or scratch or unity, it takes a lot of planning and every time you think of solving one problem, you're going to create five problems because of that one solution. So let's begin. We're going to start off with the design of the game that I made. Now this is the design I made before I even opened Stencil. So you can see I'm not a great artist, but from here you can actually get a good idea of what I'm actually trying to do. So we've got a ground at the bottom. We've got our main character here. And we've got a number of platforms, these blocks, that our character can jump from and to. So he can run around on the floor, but he can jump up and down onto these platforms. Now, according to my design, I've got these baddies, and they're kind of on platforms. They're on the floor. And then I've got these yellow things. Now, this, is, this game is kind of a ripoff of Mario. So, of course, our character is going to jump around and grab coins from the air and eventually if he collects enough coins something will happen either he gets a life back or he gets a bonus or something in the game so this is the very basic design of the game now what you have to do in your design of the game is work out some very simple rules that is does your character fly or does your character jump does your character shoot or does your character catch Will your character have three lives or will it be a lose a life and the whole game finishes? Will your baddies shoot at the character? Will your baddies jump from platform to platform? So all of these questions, you kind of need an answer to them beforehand. So take your time, design your game on paper if you can, and write some of these rules down because you don't want to forget them later on. So this is, I would say, the best advice to start a game. Don't open stencil. Instead, grab a pack of coloring pencils, a piece of paper, and design your game. Think about all the things that are going to happen in your game. Because when it comes to programming, what you don't want to do is start guessing, what should I do next? Or what should my character do? So decide all of those things before you open stencil.